The Checkpoints is presented by pharmaceutical company GM Pharma. On May 21, the Venice Commission issued an urgent opinion on the foreign agents law in which it strongly recommends that the law be repealed in its current form, stating that its fundamental flaws will involve significant negative consequences for the freedoms of associations and expression, the right to the privacy, the right to participate in public affairs, as well as the prohibition of discrimination. The Venice Commission says that the law will affect open, informed public debate pluralism and democracy. The Commission regrets that the highly controversial law was adopted by Parliament in this regard of the concerns of large sections of Georgian population and says this matter of proceeding does not meet the European requirements of democratic lawmaking. The Commission says that the law ostensibly aimed at ensuring transparency could risk stigmatization, silencing and eventually elimination of associations and media which receive even a low part of their funds from abroad. The Commission notes a strong risk is created that the associations and media which come to be affected will those who are critical of the government so that their removal would adversely affect open, informed public debate, pluralism and democracy. If the veto of President of Georgia is overriden, it will have very clear consequences for the relationship between Georgia and the United States, said Matthew Miller, the press speaker of the State Department of United States of America. According to the press speaker of the diplomatic agency, that one of the main Washington's concern about the transparency of foreign influence law is the friendship that has been connecting the U.S. and Georgia for decades. We are incredibly concerned about this law. Part of the reason for this is the excellent friendship that exists between America and Georgia. If you look back over the past 30 years, our two countries, two peoples, had great connections. We fully supported Georgia's Euro-Atlantic aspirations. We fully supported further integration with the road steps taken to expand democracy. That's why when we see a step back like this, when we see a law passed that is quite clearly based on existing laws in Russia, which we have seen supporting actions from countries in Russia's orbit, it worries us very seriously. Not only the United States and not only members of the European community, but primarily Georgian people are seriously concerned. You will see this if you look at the flows of opposition and protect it these streets of Georgia, without a doubt, if Georgia takes this step, if the veto of president is overriding, it will have a very clear consequences for relationship between Georgia and the U.S. This will have an impact on the relationship between other European states and Georgia, and ultimately on Georgian-European aspirations, said Miller. Congressman Bill Keating responds to the recent developments in Georgia, noting that visa restrictions and bilateral relationships review signal USA's commitment to Georgian people who seek an European future. Yesterday, during a House foreign hearing, I asked Secretary Blinken about the Kremlin-inspired foreign agents legislation in Georgia. Today's announcement of visa restrictions and bilateral relations review signal our commitment to Georgian people who see a European future, Congressman Bill Keating wrote on Twitter, formerly known as X. Former U.S. Ambassador to Georgia John Bass reacts to the Secretary of State's announcement of sanctions, saying he regrets that it has come to this. Secretary Blinken announced a visa restriction policy for individuals undermining democracy in Georgia. As former U.S. Ambassador to Georgia, I am deeply saddened it has come to this. We stand with the Georgian people's right to choose their own future, he writes in social media. In an attempt to consolidate its hold on government, the Georgian Dream Party would stamp out the Euro-Atlantic aspirations of Georgian people, U.S. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell said. According to him in Georgia, parliamentary majority's quest for power is threatening to suffocate the nation's civil society and unravel the 
guardrails of its democracy. Whether Georgia looks east or west matters to the United States, standing with the free people resisting the aggression of tyrants like Putin or Xi in our own business. This is true of Taiwan and Ukraine, Estonia and Japan, and this is true of Georgia. The Georgian people deserve to write their own future, not to have it dictated to them by Moscow's preferred party chefs, Mitch McConnell said. The Checkpoints is presented by pharmaceutical company GM Pharma.